It's a very handy thing that your Mac knows what the date and time are. For example, as you can see in this Finder window here, all of these files have a timestamp that shows the date that they were modified. It's very handy if you want to restore a file from a backup, for example, or if somebody else has been working on a file, that you can compare the timestamps and find out which is more recent. It does go a bit deeper than that, though. And it's very useful if you can make sure that your Mac always knows the right time. For that, you need to go to the Apple menu and call up System Preferences. In the System Preferences, you want the Date and Time pane. There are three parts to this pane. There's the clock. If I turn on Show Date and Time in the menu bar, it appears up here in the top right-hand corner. There are various choices for how the time is displayed. For example, digital or analogue, 24-hour clock, showing the day of the week, and so on. You can have your computer announce the time as well. But more importantly, you need to make sure you're in the right time zone, especially if you travel with your Mac. To do that, click on the Time Zone tab, come here, and click on the map in the approximate place of your time zone. I'm over here in New Zealand. Having clicked, you can see that that's marked a point somewhere in the Pacific, near Suva in Fiji. Actually, I need to be down here in Wellington, so I'll click a bit more accurately. That's put me in Auckland, New Zealand, and then from the list, I can choose Wellington, New Zealand. I'm now accurately placed for my computer's time. Some of you may find this useful, set time automatically using current location. This relies on mainly public Wi-Fi networks revealing where they are. I can check that, but all that happens for me is that my computer comes back and says it can't establish my location. Try it out, see if it works for you. Having located yourself correctly in the, with the correct time zone, and the correct city, come to the Date and Time tab. Here's the cunning thing. Check this box to set the date and time automatically. This allows your Mac to compare the time that it knows it has with a time server, a machine dedicated to knowing the correct time. There are several time servers to choose from. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. I've picked the one closest to me. This relies on an internet connection. From time to time, your Mac will go out there in the world and find out what the correct time is. If your Mac's internal clock is wrong, it'll correct it according to the time server. Go and have a look at your date and time control panel. See how it's set up. And remember, if you travel, go to the time zone tab and mark yourself as being in the new location, wherever it is you've travelled to. Have fun with that. Let us know in the comments on the blog post how you get on with date and time.